Hey there everyone, good morning. How are you guys? I am doing great down here in North Carolina, down at Carolina Beach, and we were staying with our, our cousins, and my aunt and uncle got to come and visit, so it was awesome for us to see our family, and just to enjoy this beach life. It's such a different atmosphere down here. Everything is so much more relaxed, and just so much more chilled out than back in Cleveland. <laughs> So I just wanted to do a live video, and I um, wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see the beach, so it's behind me, and I would do this in the sun right on the beach, but it is hot. It is, what, only 10.30 or something in the morning, and it is already scorching. So I'm uh, on the boardwalk under the overhang so that um, I can protect my skin, plus um, be able to stand out here for this long <laughs> while I'm making this video without dying. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you guys a little um, glimpse of the beautiful beach today and all the people outside enjoying it. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, using essential oils this summer to help support your skin and your hair and how easy it is. It's so simple that you know it's, it takes nothing to make these recipes and get great looking beachy hair and glowing radiant summer skin. So let's first take a look at the beach. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. So hopefully you can see it. I know I'm a little bit further away, but it's a really nice, calm day on the ocean today, not angry waves. So after I'm done with this video, we're gonna take the kids and just chill out and enjoy the nice, cool ocean water. I hope you guys could see it. Hey, Michelle, could you guys see um, the beach? Are you able to see the ocean clearly enough, Michelle? Um, tonight, my husband and I are gonna go into Wilmington and we're going to do a ghost walk. So it's something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time and I think William um, Wilmington is such an old historic town that it's going to be um, really cool to go see that. Oh no! My paper fell down. Hey Grace, can you grab that? My daughter's here with me. So my paper with the recipes fell down there and, and now we lost it. <laughs> um, so, all right, so I'm gonna talk while Grace is climbing over into the <laughs> into the weeds to get the, um, to the, get the paper with my recipes on it. So you don't have to go to the beach to get awesome beachy waves and, thank you Grace, um, uh, beachy waves and sun salt hair. You don't have to, you know, get scorched or spend tons of money. You can just easily make a beautiful homemade sea salt recipe using essential oils. And then you don't also have to pay for the sea salt sprays that you find in the store that have a ton of alcohol in them and cost, you know, a lot of money for, you know, simple things that you have in the house that you can use. So I'm going to show you my first recipe is the sea salt spray. So I made mine in this glass bottle. I just put a little label on it. Nothing too fancy. And um, we've been using it down here even though we do have the salt, the salty ocean after I take a shower. Sometimes I want to add some more texture back into my hair. So I use the sea salt spray. And for my daughter, she has really nice natural waves. And the sea salt spray just helps to define them and bring them out more. So she's been using that also. So in order to make the sea salt spray, you're going to take a, um, an eight ounce spray bottle and I prefer the glass because essential oils can eat away the plastic um, or absorb the chemicals from the plastic. So you want to choose glass spray bottles for safety reasons. Um, then you're going to take a cup of hot water, two tablespoons of Epsom salts, which you can find them in the drugstores or um, you know Walmart, that kind of place. It's really cheap. A half a teaspoon of um, fine sea salt, and you can get those now at the grocery store and at Walmart, you know, a lot of places have sea salt. Then you're going to take a half a teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil, and if you're wondering what fractionated coconut oil is, it's just coconut oil that stays liquid. So it stays in the liquid form, it doesn't harden like the stuff that you have at home to cook with. So doTERRA, which is the company that I work for, um, they sell a fractionated coconut oil that is just fabulous, so you can definitely use that in your... Um, sea salt spray. 
then so you want to use a half a teaspoon of that then you can kind of choose what essential oils you want to use I did five drops of rosemary because rosemary is really really good for your hair it helps stimulate hair growth too so if you're you know, losing some hair or you're having a hard time growing your hair, um, you can uh, definitely choose rosemary for that. And then you're going to use five drops of lemon. Lemon is a natural hair lightening lightener, so if you're going to be in the sun and you have dark hair, you may want to choose another oil. But I have blonde hair, so I love the extra highlights that the lemon puts in my hair. And then five drops of grapefruit. So that's what I went with because I have also oily hair and so does my daughter. So grapefruit um, is a natural astringent, so it tends to pull the oil out of your hair. You can choose um, other essential oils. You can do lavender. You can do cedar wood. Cedar wood is also great for hair growth. Um, you know, whatever you um, have at home or that you like um, the scent of. Now, here I'm going to caution you. If you just go out and buy essential oils from like TJ Maxx or Drug Mart or buy them online, even on Amazon, um, you are probably and most definitely not getting pure essential oils. You're getting oils that have other additives in them. It could be chemicals. It could be um, just filled up with coconut oil so that you're only getting maybe 5 or 10% of the pure essential oils. So check out you know your essential oils when you buy them um, make sure that you've researched them that they are 100% pure and there's nothing else in them that they've gone through testing and that they're certified because you don't want to be putting chemicals on your body that's the reason you're making homemade stuff right get more natural um, products so just do that um, just make sure that you're buying um, the pure oils in the in the best form possible I personally I use doTERRA and I'm very um, I'm very comfortable with the oils that they have. They're, they're very safe. They're tested on seven levels testing. And they're very affordable because you really only need a couple drops. You don't need to, to use a half a bottle for application to get the effects you need. One or two drops um, is more than enough for um, most applications. If you're making a big bottle, of course, you're going to be adding more. But even five drops of, a, of an oil is, is not a lot because uh, 250 drops come in a bottle. So you're really getting um, a good deal also. So I'm going to show you, here's the rosemary. Hey Becky, hey Rob, nice to see you watching. So this is our rosemary. Can you see it? I don't know, it's hard to, for me to do this. There's the rosemary, so that's what I put in there. And then I put in grapefruit. And grapefruit is a great summer oil. It just smells really refreshing. You can diffuse it for that uplifting, energizing um, scent and it also is really really good in your water so if you don't care for drinking water and you really want to um, be able to drink more water but you don't like the taste of it then you definitely um, can add grapefruit another one um, is the lemon that you can add to your um, water so those three are in the sea salt spray um, but you can use them in so much other things. Lemon is also very uplifting and very energizing. Um, you can add it to your water, like I said, to help detox you. It's just a fabulous um, oil. Okay, the next thing I'm going to tell you guys how to make, and I'm going to post these recipes after I'm done um, so that you um, have the recipes so you don't have to write these down while I'm talking to you guys. The next one is a facial spritz. So even if you're not at the beach in the summertime, you'll probably get really hot. Your face gets real sweaty. Um, it just sometimes it can get dry, you know, if you're out in the wind and the sun. So I made this awesome facial spritz, and once again, it's in a glass bottle. And the facial mist hydrates. It helps you stay cool. It gives your skin a very glowing complexion. So I just took a four-ounce spray bottle, and I added a half a cup of distilled water then a half a teaspoon of witch hazel. So witch hazel is again another one that you can find really cheap at the um, drugstore or at um, Walmart, places like that, Target. Then I added five drops of lavender. So here is here's our lavender and I love the scent of lavender. Lavender is super calming. It is great for any kind of skin conditions, um, any kind of redness, um, bug bites. I use lavender along with melaleuca, which is another one I think I have in this, yes, I have in this recipe um, for tons of skin things. Um, we use them for bug bites down here and it keeps the, stops the itching almost immediately. So then I also added five drops of melaleuca. 
which I didn't bring it down to the beach with me. Well, so melaleuca is tea tree oil. Um, melaleuca, like I just said, is great for skin conditions. So that's another one I add. It's also great to help with um, skin blemishes. So having it in your face um, mist will also have um, that. And this doesn't have to be for just women either. Men can use these same things. This facial mist is great for um, your beard and um, to help with um, the melaleuca and the lavender help with razor burn. So after shaving, when you get that horrible itchy razor burn, you can definitely apply the melaleuca and the lavender with some coconut oil. Brian, my husband, does that. Um, I, I kind of give it to him after he's done shaving so that he can get that redness and inflammation down because he has some sensitive skin on his neck. And then the last one I added to the facial mist, and you can do spearmint or peppermint. Um, I did spearmint. I don't know if you can see it. Um, Spearmint is fantastic. It's a new oil I just got, and Grace and I are obsessed with it. It smells like gum, <laughs> and it's another one that you can ingest. It's uh, very energizing and uplifting, and it just smells absolutely fantastic. I love diffusing the spearmint. You, if you don't have spearmint, you can use peppermint. So peppermint is super cooling. And it can also be used in your water. So if you want to add it to something that you drink, um, you know, you can even add it to your coffee in the morning or to your hot cocoa and get a, a mint cocoa uh, chocolate. It's really, really good. So peppermint is um, has 100 uses. I always recommend having some peppermint on hand. Um, and then you just combine all that together and just spray and mist as you will. We have some guests over here. I hear people talking. Okay, so there's only two more recipes. I'm going to go quick with this because it's getting hot out here. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is a heat exhaustion recovery. So even if you're not at the beach in the summer, you could be working outside, cutting your lawn, um, being at the pool with the kids. You can get heat exhaustion very easily, and so can your children. So what you would want to do is you just take two to four drops of lemon oil, and you put that in a glass of water and just sip on it with some ice. It's refreshing, plus it's hydrating for your body. You can also add a drop of peppermint to cool it down, um, or you can mix those two together. So if you do feel heat exhaustion, this is a good tonic, and it's super easy, and it tastes really good. So the last one I'm going to talk about, hey, Carmen, nice to see you. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is a grapefruit exfoliating scrub. So even though summer has started with the nice weather and everything, our skin still can have that winter flaky dryness to it. So this grapefruit sea salt scrub is a fantastic way to get off that dead skin. And throughout the summer, just to keep your skin looking healthy and glowy. So what you want to do is take 30 milliliters of the fractionate coconut oil, and then you're going to take three ounces of fine sea salt. And like I said, you can get that at grocery stores and stuff like that, Marks or whatever. Um, and then you're going to add 10 drops of your preferred essential oil. I love to do um, grapefruit. So I added, um, I don't have the sea salt scrub on me, but I have it in the shower. So I added 10 drops of a grapefruit oil. But you can choose lavender if you want to do it in the evening to help you guys calm down and relax after a stressful day. Um, you can put in lemon to help energize you. You can mix the lemon and the grapefruit together, which is awesome. You can do peppermint to give yourself a nice cooling, refreshing um, feeling. Pretty much the choices are endless. It's whatever you love to have and, and, and you just it's so cheap like why pay all that money to get that expensive body scrubs and you don't even know what's in them when you can simply and easily make them yourself and if you prefer to use sugar um, just substitute like brown sugar with um, for the sea salt and then you just add you just stir it all up and you just get a nice thick um, consistency that has a little bit of the oil um, to it so that it's not too dry and it's so simple you just rub it on your skin massage it in and then rinse it off in the shower super easy and the salt and the sugar will dissolve so it doesn't clog your drains um, one last thing it's not a recipe that I actually have um, written down but we have used um, this rollerball the entire trip for everything. I've had my cousins asking to use it. Um, so I have a rollerball of lavender and melaleuca. And I know I talked about this earlier with the coconut oil. Um, we've used it for our bug bites that we've gotten because we didn't use our bug spray. 
um, my cousins have used it for um, the, on their uh, acne on their face since we've been down here. I have this terrible itching and I think it's just from the sun. So this morning my daughter rubbed it on my back and I got instant relief. Um, you can, like I said, razor burn. So it's bikini time. So if you have, um, if you've waxed or shaved your bikini line, putting on the melaleuca on the lavender with the coconut oil and even adding um, either frankincense or heliochrysum if it's really bad will um, help to relieve those bumps and that pain and that itching that you get when you um, shave. So I hope you guys, hey Brian, my honey is um, at the beach house and I guess he's watching my video. Hey sweetheart, um, would you like to come pick Grace and I up so we don't have to walk home? We're hot. <laughs> I'll text you when I'm done with this video. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to jump on more often and just do some live videos with some education so you guys can just learn more stuff and um, educate yourself so that you can choose more natural, chemical-free options. And I'll give you one last glance at the gorgeous beach. And hopefully this summer you guys will get to go to the beach and have some fun. All right. See you later. Bye.